friends, uh, this is Vinod Singh again from Travel Tech Guru and today I'm here with my sixth video blog and today's topic is why travel companies need to invest into the technology platform. So the first point is the automation that you would going to achieve once you have invested into the technology platform and with the help of the automation uh, you would have higher efficiency, you would have a better control, you would have uh, optimization of the cost, you would have higher sales. So everything would result into higher bottom line revenue. Okay. And to explain it further, because uh, the repetitive task would now be taken care of by the technology platform itself. So uh, there would be lesser human errors. All right. Again, uh, the quality of work would be higher compared to if you do it manually. For example, sending out the quotations, the vouchers, the documents to the customer, uh, managing the customer information in, in, into the platform. Everything would be managed by the technology itself. Uh, with the help of the technology, now your staff would have more time in hand, which probably they can invest uh, performing these specialized activities. Like, for example, maybe negotiating best of the rates from uh, the suppliers or, or probably uh, talking to the customers and understanding their requirement and personalizing the offers for their specific need. Or uh, maybe getting the best of the packages based on the customer buying behavior in the past, based on the reports that you have from the historical data of the customer, which earlier you never used to have that. So all you have, you, you can plan for the futures with the, with the help of the technology platform. Okay. And uh, all, all these would contribute to uh, increase in your bottom line revenue. Now, moving forward. Uh, the second point which you can achieve from the technology platform is the ease of use for your staff, for your sales consultant, for your human resource. Because in, in a traditional more, uh, method, your staff needs to be trained on the GDS platform. They need to have an extensive knowledge of Amadeus, Saver, or Travel Port in order to work on those platforms. They need to be trained on the supplier wholesaler's platform to go through those platform and get out the rates from the platform ad based on the customer's requirement. But with the help of the technology platform, they probably need to be trained on just one single uh, application. And if they're comfortable working on the computer, they would be very much comfortable to train and get accustomed a, a to the technology platform. So now you can have a mix of uh, probably a college graduate and maybe some of the experienced staff to manage your entire operations. And that would help you uh, control the cost on the human resource spend with the help of the technology platform. Uh, then comes in the process optimization. So the process optimization would be the byproduct of a technology implementation because you can define the best way to perform a specific task to give you a small example if you want to send a quotation to the customer i mean with a traditional manner it might take a half an hour or maybe an hour to respond to a, a simple or a complex uh, inquiry from the customer but with the help of the technology platform the same task can be done in a couple of minutes to maybe 10 minutes at max so that that would give you the best way to do do a given job and optimize the uh, process all right and eventually it all will uh, boil down to optimizing the cost uh, more profit more bottom line revenue uh, the next point which I wanted to highlight is is the control so with the help of the technology uh, you have a control on your operations you have control on your sales you would have control on your fulfillment you would have a better control on the productivity of your staff which in the uh, offline world virtually is impossible to have that kind of control and control will give you higher quality of the work uh, higher efficiency from your staff and better output all right so this is is again one of the major benefit and as said earlier uh, would eventually give you a higher bottom line revenue okay uh the one more point which i want to highlight is the automation of your sales channel so in, in the offline world, everything probably happens over the phone or the email. But with the help of the technology, you can automate your point of sales, catering to your retail customers, calling you up on the call center number, or maybe uh, the walk-ins. 
maybe for the agency channel, you can give them the B2B dashboard or you can give them the XML out, the API out if you they, they all have already invested into the technology platform. So they don't have to give you a call day in, day out to have check on the availability, to check on the pricing. Everything can be done through the technology platform. I mean, if you have launched an OTA platform, you can uh, aggregate the content from flights, hotels, packages, sightseeing, transfer, either through the XML supplier or maybe if you have a direct contract with the suppliers, everything can be automated and pushed to your OTA channels, to your sub inside channel, to your point of sale, and even to your corporate customers. You can give them the corporate self-booking tools wherein the employees can log in and based on their designation, uh, the policies would be automatically applied and they can search and book themselves. So that would save a lot of time that probably you would invest on the implants or maybe if uh, any, any of your staff is making a booking on behalf of the corporates, everything can be managed through the technology platform and give you a much better control on all your sales channels. Then uh, last thing, uh, as, as a result of all these automations, uh, higher efficiency, better control on the sales channels, everything would give you uh, higher profits, uh, more sales, and eventually higher bottom line revenue, which better suited for a travel company who have invested into the technology than the one who are still stuck with the traditional model. They are struggling to survive and travel as you already know it's, it's a cutthroat competition uh, i mean you have to be the best in order to survive and float um, i i can guarantee you those who don't invest into the technology platform might not survive for long as well all right so it's it's not just about uh, growing your business it, it's also about surviving your business so guys i hope i am uh, able to highlight some of the benefits investing into the technology platform so if you like the video i would request you share your comments and feedback below the video or we share the video with your friends partners business associates so that's beneficial for them as well and i would love to see your feedback and comments have a great day